What you see here is everything you need to build a computer. This is the motherboard, this is the CPU, this is the RAM, and this is the solid state drive. This is the power supply, this is the hard drive, this is the DVD, this is the case. Won't work without the operating system. This is the Cooler Master N200, and we bought this because we're gonna be using two hard drives. One hard drive for the operating system that's small and fast, and one hard drive for everything else that's big and slow. Here's what I love about Cooler Master. Everything they make feels like quality. Look at this beautiful case. It has USB 3.0, USB 2.0, a bunch of jacks, the power switch, and the reset switch. Right up in the front, we have a five and a quarter inch bay. And right down here, we have a three and a half inch bay. There are a lot of expansion options on this thing. You can add more fans. You could add more drives. You can almost add anything. It's gonna fit our micro ATX motherboard really well. We have two four gigabyte RAM, which is Hyper Fury DDR3 1600. It's important to have a lot of RAM for this build because some of that RAM is going to this APU for video. We bought a case without a power supply so that we could have a really good power supply. Everything in this computer depends on the power supply. So that's why we got this Intermax Revolution XT 430 watt 80 plus gold power supply. We're going to put these pieces together and then do a post test. Post stands for power on self test. This guy over here, Jack, is a nutty banana. We're going to start by unboxing this Gigabyte Micro ATX motherboard. We chose this board because we're going to be doing an inexpensive build. But we still want quality parts. On the side it looks like we got two SATA cables and an IO plate. So right here we have our motherboard and it looks like down here we got a instruction booklet with a driver's disc. That'll come in handy. Touch something metal so that you can discharge yourself and then grab the motherboard out. And put it right on the top of the box. We're going to be using this FM2 Plus Board. So we're going to be using this AMD A10 5800K processor. Um, Kenny, what's inside of here? I don't know. Jack, did you know that's, a, that's the processor? Instruction manual? And this is the heat sink. <laughs> On one of the corners of this, there's a golden triangle. To install the processing unit, you have to push this lever out and pull it up. Then, you have your processing unit and you match up the triangle and it should just pop in. There. Then to lock it in, you just pull this lever down and it should clamp in and now it's locked. Next to install the RAM. First, you find the little notch right here. Then you open up the clips and match the notch right where it is and then match the two lines right here up and then give it a little force and you should hear a clip and a clip. And then now on to the next one. Next, do the same process with your other stick of RAM. There. You can tell it's good because you heard the click, click. The beauty of having an APU is that there's no video card and that means less parts. So if we did have one, then that would go right here. There's a four core processor plus a video card in here. Now we're going to install the heat sink. So you just plop it down right here. And then latch it down like this and like this. Then plug it into the CPU fan header. 
like that and then latch it down. You gotta pull really, really hard. And uh, there. You have to pull this latch so hard that it feels like you're gonna break it, but you're really not. Now we're gonna add the power supply in the solid state drive to the motherboard. This is a 128 gigabyte, two and a half inch solid state drive. So here we have the power supply, the power cable, modular cables, zip ties, an Enermax badge, four mounting screws, a baggie, and don't forget the instruction manuals. And right here it says 80 plus gold. That means it's very efficient. And they also have a power lock so that your power cable won't come out. Connect your 24 pin main board connector to the motherboard. And it only goes in one way. So like this, and I push it down, and there. Connect your hard drive to your motherboard with your SATA connector. Now I'm gonna connect the SATA connector onto slot zero. We're gonna put the SATA power cord into one of the modular slots. Now I'm gonna plug the other end into the SSD. Next, connect the DVD drive with another SATA connector. We're gonna connect the DVD with another SATA power connector. Using two rails will make sure that we don't put too much power in one rail. Now we are going to plug the power cable into the power supply. And then once we do that, we plug it into the wall and it'll actually work. Inside of these cords that are not modular, there is a cord that says CPU. And you plug it in just like this and it only goes in one way. Now I'm gonna plug in the monitor. Turn on the power supply. Turn on the monitor. You're gonna need to look in your instructions manual so that you can find where the pins you need to ground are and then you ground the pins. Here goes nothing. together and make sure to tune in because in part two we are going to be testing the RAM and actually putting it in the computer case. Then we're going to add the operating system and it'll look like a real computer. This is the motherboard. This is the CPU. That's the RAM. I'm going to say that what's inside of it again? And he's going to say I don't know. And then I'm going to open it up and then take it out. Then put it where it can be. Hey! <laughs> okay, good. Uh. <laughs> okay, so make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below!